So there I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge Bonds Beyond Time, and the idea hit me that I should really see if a Neo Genesis Evangelion Abridged exists. Because they just announced that Evangelion 4.0, the final movie of the remake, will be released in 2020. Even though they were supposed to release it in 2014, and we basically forgot about it. Shame on me for becoming such an Evangelion fan back in high school that I used to run to my local JB Hi-Fi looking for the dub version of the Evangelion anime. Obviously couldn't find it, ended up buying DVDs at the sub, got used to the sub, bought Evangelion 1.0, then 1.01, then 1.11, I feel like an idiot, and then discovering how to uh, download them online. Yeah, well, I'm sorry for a little bit of a rant. I've been waiting for that uh, remake finale for a few years now, as you can see. I almost forgot about the series, to be honest. I even tweeted about it and lost so many followers. I'm like, hey, does this, was this movie ever released? I, I, I even, you know, you know, tweeted the creators and shit. And like a month later, I get told that it's being released in 2020. You know, two years from now. It's almost like they forgot until I told them. What are they doing up until now? Jacking off or something? Anyway, let's get started. Boy. It is such a nice day to be taking a tank brigade out for a walk in the park. What the hell was it? Attention everyone! There's an emergency! And there's something happening with the city. I, I don't know what it is, um, but everyone needs to evacuate! Now! Hurry! Get out of the city! Run! How'd that sound? I think it went rather well. Fired? Oh god damn it. We're sorry, your call can't Why would you even live in Tokyo, Tokyo? but anyway? Someone actually cares about your predicament. What a bitch! I can't believe the customer service out here. It's ridiculous. Oh. Well, the good news is I still got this banging picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bravo, well played. I don't know what that was, and I'm so confused, and I'm talking with my mouth closed. Oh my god, he's a giant monster, and he's coming right this way. Everybody run away before he kills us all. Hey, hey, Fieldski, do you want to hear the noise I can make with my nose? Sir, I don't think we should be thinking about that at the moment. There's an angel attack going on. Uh, sir? <laughs> I, I didn't actually make that with my nose. It came out of my mouth. You can't see my mouth in my hands. Sir? All right, all right. I'm sorry I lied. I'll never do it again. Fire the weapons! Woohoo! Big hit! <laughs> hey, bitch! Huh? Get in the car. Now, let's get out of here. Well, that didn't work. Wait, I have an idea. What is it, sir? Let's try blowing it up. Holy shit! Oh, I remember watching this when I was a lot younger. I was like, whoa! <laughs> it's a good thing I played Fallout! Fucking magnificent. Our whole universe was in a what? Seriously? <laughs> oh, we're gonna get hit with copyright for sure. Big Bang Theory is gonna start copyright strikers. Don't worry, Shinji. I'll get us to headquarters in one piece. Oh, good. Hey, hey, Shinji. One piece? Eh? Eh? I... I don't I know what One it. Piece is. I, I don't get it. You've never watched One Piece? No. No. Yeah, I've me either. I just thought it was funny. I've done my time. Yeah, Fionsky, look at that piece of shit out there. It's like... Whirlwind, whirlwind out there. I don't, I don't understand why it's doing that. I think it's regenerating, sir. Regenerating. Keep bombing it. Yeah, that's just disgusting. Perfect. Keep bombing it. Some people overreact to the most trivial things. Anyone Your have mama a nuke? overreacts. <laughs> Mr. Ikari, our weapons of mass destruction had no effect against the angel. You see, what you gotta do is, you, you can't go blowing shit up like that. What you gotta do oh. is go out there and give it a big hug. Really now? Would I ever lie to you? Well, I suppose not. Come on, guys, let's go try this out. 
I got big hopes for this one. Well, sir, I suppose it's time to use Plan B. Fioski, we don't need a Plan oh B. I, I told you, oh we, we were two guys. We don't need that oh stuff. God, no, I no, meant no, put no, your son no, in a giant no, robot, sir. Fioski, it's not a robot. It's a giant biomechanical thing I found in the ocean. Sir, I, I, I think we shouldn't be yelling about that. That's classified. I don't care. Stop misrepresenting my favorite anime. I am a fanboy. Stop doing that. I don't care. You get the joke. I'm leaving. Okay. And look, we're here. It, it's kind of breezy. Yeah, you'd think they'd accommodate people who wear skirts. Or at least put some railings up, because this wind could blow me over. I think we're lost. Nonsense. We're not lost. All right, first down, my new job. Gotta get ready. Red six, red scout, red, red six, Dr. Ikagi? Ah, bitch face. Someone's lost. Go find her. What? Buy it again? No. I don't even have a face. Uh, hey! You? Lost again, are we? How many times is it now? Seven. By the way, bitch face, this is Shinji. Don't call me bitch face. Okay. So where are we going? We, we aren't allowed to tell you where we're going. It's, it's top secret. If I'm going there anyway, you might as well just tell me. Sorry, Shinji, that's the rules. Can't change them, can't bend them, can't do anything with them. Or else so... your dad would get real mad. We're going to see my dad? Oh, shit. Well, we're here again. <laughs> for the third time. Yeah, we all! It's a... Giant robot! It's not a robot, huh? I found it in the water! Yellow everybody! Yeah. Fiotsky, what am I doing here? Sir, you're here to see your son. Fiotsky, I don't have a son, but sir, he's right down there. The pizza delivery boy! Fiotsky, that's not my son, I don't have a son. But sir, you, you, we just talked about this, you brought him here to do the thing. The classified thing. Now Fiotsky, I'm gonna tell you a story here, okay? My wife. Yeah? Yeah, we. Yeah, rub it in. When she was pregnant, we came to an agreement. If it was a boy, we would name it Shinji. And if it was a girl, we would name it Ray. Now, Fiotsky, pay attention here. You see that over there coming in here on the stretcher? Who's that? Ray? That's right. And because I have Ray, I have a daughter. And since I have a daughter, I don't have a son. But Dad... Pizza delivery, boy! Get in the robot! Alright, good job. <gasps> One more time. Let's do this. I'm not going to mess it up this time. Hey, Don't even get, get me again. started! I did it? Finally! Now inserting entry plug. That's what she said. Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> wow, as a kid I didn't really get all the uh huh? symbolism. Oh God, it wasn't me. Don't worry, it's supposed to do that. Make me wet my pants? Are you fucking No no, it's, it's fine. fine, it's it's sterile. Is it still <laughs> funny to reference bear grills? I think it might be. No. <laughs> Hit it! Yo, I love this song. Okay, that's gonna be a copyright strike. I hope the copyright doesn't strike this video. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Oh boy. I have no idea what's going on. Neither do I. I, what do you mean I'm not the narrator? Fuck off, I'm doing this. Who the hell is that? Shinji defeat the angel. What is the secret behind nerve? Why does Ritsuko have ridiculous eyebrows? Find out next time. Enough talk. It's time for action. I move that everyone come to my apartment to snuggle my cat. Second. I move that your cat stinks and is ugly. Second. I move that we vote on a new chief executive officer and oust this old creep. And also that my cat smells good and is pretty. Second. God damn, Sim you know what? I grew up watching Simpsons and all this sort of stuff at a time when I couldn't really speak English that much. And my first experience with Evangelion was, funnily enough, the end of Evangelion. Um, was it the end of Evangelion or was it uh, Death and Rebirth? It was one of the other ones. Uh, it was definitely that part where Oscar's you know, being surrounded by, um, the, oh, the, um, see, I've already forgotten. It's the, uh, you know, the robots, the Evangelion series that it was, you know, completed, you know, all those robots, like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, when they're flying above her and she's, uh, in her unit two looking up and then they just come down. So I don't know if that was the end of Evangelion or if that was death and rebirth, um, uh, because, you know, that's where one movie ends and another one begins, and I spent years trying to find the other ones. <laughs> Fun times. Uh, you know, because back then, death and rebirth, and then death, and then end of Evangelion, it was hard to find the one that continues on, especially in dub. So that was my first exposure to Evangelion. It was on TV late night, 
when I couldn't speak English and I was like, what the hell is this? And I just sort of watched it. And years later, after I got into anime, I know I've told this story. I was just on these anime forums, you know, trying to find these old animes that, you know, I was exposed to. One of them ended up being Cowboy Bebop, uh, one of the greatest anime I've ever seen. The other one is obviously End of Evangelion. And then you had Tenshi Min, uh, Minyu or Minyo, whatever it is. And the way I found these is by in the forums, basically describing is like, hey, I saw this anime where there's like this cave and then this kid with a sword and the cat turns into a spaceship and then there's all these girls in a house. And like one of these guys is like, yeah, that's Tenchi Minyu. And it's like, oh, uh, I remember this red robot and these white robots flying. They're like, that's Evangelion. You know, so it's... That's how I really got exposed uh, to anime, and then I started watching it, and there was also Cartoon Network, that's where they used to sometimes show Cowboy Bebop, uh, and for a time also Evangelion, so that's how I really got into anime, and so Evangelion's one of the first anime I've watched, I watched it at a time where I couldn't really properly speak English, and now looking back at it, I see all the symbolism, all this, all that, so, you know... Uh, I, I still remember watching End of Evangelion and then spending, God, weeks on the forums trying to get closure of what the hell did I watch, you know? Someone explain this shit and then the whole theory and the religion and all this, you know, mental breakdown crap. It It's just, it, it's funny to go full circle because I haven't seen the series in so long. I saw that remake, you know, 1.1, 1.10. Uh, but that, you know, kind of stops halfway in the series and goes a different direction. Uh, and in the original episode, what was it, uh, 24, 25 uh, of the anime, it was like, what the hell is this, you know? So it, it's fun to go back to Evangelion after all these years and, you know, watch an abridged version because it'll jog those things in my mind, the memory, you know, uh, and I'll remember what the episodes were about and what was going on because now it's all forgotten. I've forgotten what it's all about, but now when I watch an abridged, I sort of remember this happened, this happened, this happened. So it sort of triggers all that memory and it's good because it's in a bite-sized episode and something that's going to make fun of the original but then i'm going to remember the original like i remember the only reason shinji got into the ava to begin with was because he saw ray who was basically pulled out of the icu because they needed her to pilot and you know she was injured and she started bleeding and then he felt sorry for her so he got finally got into the evangelion uh, he finally got into the ava yeah there we go we call it avas not evangelion see the ava series was com see what i mean See what I mean? It comes back to you. That's what I'm talking about. The I remember uh, Oscar was on the floor and she's like, the Ava series, it's been completed. And then they have that song that plays while they're doing, you know, the circle. They're basically flying around her. And then, you know, she has that epic battle afterwards. That's, there we go. See, the memory's coming back. See what I mean? This is why I watch I Bridged. This is why. Because I've watched it ages ago, but I can't go and rewatch everything if I rewatched. And I don't even have time to watch anime nowadays, let alone rewatch old ones. So, uh, yes, yes, th thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, I'm going to watch the next one. I'm going to binge the shit out of this because, yeah, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. That's what I like. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like. I also have a gaming channel where I do live stream weekly. So, uh, link to that is linked in the description below and as well as the top pin comment as well as the discord where we do hang out when i'm not reacting or gaming so i'm gonna binge the crap out of this series so till next time ninja kuma out bye you have a hidden talent you don't know about like Pierce hilton being an actress wait kid you dropped your Turn microphone to santini on his ass you want to be an Air Force Ranger? You want to live a life of danger? You don't want to get raped by strangers? Think of a big 